Bonjour et bienvenue. This is a brief lecture intended for university students studying French on the gender of French nouns. So the first thing that you need to learn about nouns is we categorize them in French as either masculine or feminine. And this is an arbitrary categorization. Some words we say are grammatically masculine and some words we say are grammatically feminine. The way you determine that is by the word that goes before the noun. We call that the article, specifically the definite article. So when you see a word that has le in front of it, we say that those are grammatically masculine words. It's just a designation. It doesn't have anything to do with biological gender. Now, when you see a noun that has a la in front of it, we say that that word is grammatically feminine. Again, it's just an arbitrary designation. It doesn't have anything to do with biological gender. When we see a word that has an L apostrophe in front of it, then those nouns can be either grammatically masculine or grammatically feminine. And when you learn those words, you just have to memorize that it's masculine or feminine. Now, the way that you learn that words are masculine or feminine is by memorizing the le, la, or l apostrophe with each noun as you learn it. And I'm going to show you a bunch of examples in just a minute. So this has to be memorized. So do yourself a favor. If you're at the very beginning of your journey in learning French, as you start learning nouns, always, always be sure that you memorize the le, la, or l apostrophe with each noun. As I mentioned before, the le, la, or l apostrophe is what we call the definite article. There is something called an indefinite article, which will be talked about in another video. So if you're interested in that, you can find the video on indefinite articles. The definite article in French is equivalent to the word the in English. We call the in English the definite article as well. And the reason why is because when we use the instead of a or an, we're referring to something very definite or specific. For example, do you have the book that I lent you? So let's say I lent you a book and I want it back. I say, do you have the book? Because I want the exact same book that I gave you. I don't want a different book. So again, it's very definite when we use the in English. And similarly in French, when you use le, la, or l apostrophe, you're referring to a very specific or definite noun, and that's why we call it the definite article. So let's take a look at some examples. La mère, la mère, the mother. Do yourself a favor also from the very beginning, really work on your pronunciation. Listen and repeat as much as possible. And a suggestion for you whenever you're listening to an audio file, for example, there are some online dictionaries that you can use where you'll see the the French word and the English word and the French word will have the icon of a little speaker next to it. You can click on that and play it and you can hear it. For example, the La Russe dictionary has all of the words pronounced. Uh, if you're using that dictionary, if you click on the audio file and you listen to it and you repeat it, one suggestion I'll make is to take out your smartphone, for example, take out the recording, uh, open up the recording app, start it, start recording, and then with another device, play that audio file and be sure to have the volume up so you can capture it on your, your smartphone and play it. And then you repeat it yourself and do that a few times. When you're done, stop the recorder on your smartphone and then play it back. And it's very different when you hear it from another device as opposed to just listening to it yourself, to yourself while you're saying it. So 
it'll give you a different perspective on how you sound and that is a tool that many students have told me that they use or an idea to help them work on their pronunciation so you might want to try that so work on your pronunciation from the very beginning the other thing you might do is as you listen to a word you might listen and repeat a few times while looking at the word but you can also listen and repeat a few times with your eyes closed and again that will give you a different perspective on the pronunciation and how you're pronouncing you won't have you t when you take the visual out of the picture and you're just listening and hearing only I think that will help you to understand or pay attention more to the pronunciation to be able to more accurately produce it and you can it just takes practice okay so all that being said let's look at some more examples so from the very beginning memorize those articles with the nouns and also work on your pronunciation as much as possible do it now so you don't have to come back later at some point further down the road in your studies you don't want to have to go back and uh, you know relearn that pronunciation when you've already studied it so okay so let's go la mer la mer and for also from the beginning it's best just to try to to listen and repeat to imitate there are rules for pronunciation which you can study pronunciation very specifically but I think at the beginning my suggestion to you is just just imitate listen and repeat from the beginning okay la mère the mother la mère la mère le père le père le père the father notice la mère is grammatically feminine and le père is grammatically masculine well it just so happens that there is a rule that in general biological gender and grammatical gender agree so naturally la mère feminine le père masculine la fille la fille la fille the daughter or the girl la fille again the biological gender and grammatical gender agree here la fille le fils le fils this one's tricky because the l is not pronounced listen fils le fils le fils the son le fils le garçon le garçon the boy le garçon the boy again grammatical and biological gender agree le garçon le bureau le bureau le bureau bureau can either be a desk or an office so the desk or the office le bureau just depending on the context and for this word notice that it's grammatically masculine and this is going to be the case for nouns that are do not refer to people in other words nouns that refer to objects they are either going to be grammatically masculine or grammatically feminine and there's in general there's just really no rhyme or reason it's just it is what it is and you have to learn for example you have to learn bureau as grammatically masculine le bureau la table grammatically feminine la table la table la table l'étudiant 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 the student l'étudiant 
l'étudiant. Now, this word refers to a male student. The L apostrophe doesn't tell you whether it's masculine or feminine. But once you memorize the word, the word itself will tell you because there is a, slightly, a similar but slightly different word for female student. And that is l'étudiante. L'étudiante. And it's pronounced differently. L'étudiante. 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 Notice. L'étudiant. Masculine. L'étudiant. L'étudiant. Masculine. Male student. L'étudiante. 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 So we have l'étudiant, a male student, l'étudiante, female student. So when a native French speaker hears the word étudiant, they know you're referring to a male. When they hear étudiante, they know you're referring to a female. And notice they both take the L apostrophe. Le chat. Le chat. I'm not pronouncing the T at the end. Notice le chat. Le chat. The cat. Le chat. The cat. Le chat. Le livre. Le livre. The book. Le livre. The book. Le livre. The book. This is grammatically masculine. Le livre. And again, when you memorize the word livre, memorize that this takes le. Because that's what it is. When you look up, when you look it up in the dictionary, you'll see Usually a little notation with an M, meaning masculine, so le, le livre. La maison, la maison, the house, la maison, the house, la maison. La voiture, la voiture, the car, la voiture. La voiture. La voiture. The word for car is grammatically feminine. La voiture. Le portable. Le portable. Le portable. The cell phone. Le portable. Portable. Le portable. So grammatically masculine. And you should note that English accepts cell phone as one word or as two. You can see it either way. Uh, and either one is correct in English. When you study another language, it will help you to improve your own language because you have to make uh, comparisons and analyses like this. So uh, anyway, so cell phone either way. Le portable. La chaise, 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 la chaise, la chaise, the chair. So notice grammatically feminine, la chaise, the chair. L'homme, 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 the man. The H is silent here, so um, um, um. And with, with the article, l'homme, l'homme, l'homme. If you look it up in a dictionary, you'll see, again, this M. And that means that because it has the L apostrophe, there's no way of knowing. Uh, this one is masculine. The man. L'homme. And one thing about the L apostrophe is the the apostrophe is either representing the E if it's masculine or the A if it's feminine. So when you have two vowel sounds or when you have a vowel sound that follows the article, uh, the E or the A 
both being vowels that will put two vowels together so instead of having the two vowels together in French you have the apostrophe so really the L apostrophe represents either the le or the la but that's hidden because of the apostrophe so that's the reason why it can be either masculine or feminine because sometimes the le is reduced to just the L apostrophe sometimes the la is reduced to just the L apostrophe okay la femme la femme 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 la femme the woman so this one is grammatically feminine because the word is biologically feminine right la femme the woman la lampe la lampe the lamp la lampe la lampe the lamp so this one is grammatically feminine So to sum up, remember, le is a definite article. It means the, and it is grammatically masculine. La also means the, and it is the definite article, and it's grammatically feminine. L apostrophe is either grammatically masculine or feminine. It just depends on what grammatical gender is assigned to the word in question or the noun in question. So let's finish up with a brief tour of the La Russe online dictionary. So this dictionary does have ads. However, it's a very good and useful dictionary, especially for pronunciation and just to look up words in general. Notice I have it set for English to French. And you can do French to English if you'd like. And I typed in house and I got the word maison, which was one of the words on the list of words that we just studied. Notice that it has an F next to it, and this is an annotation that means that the word is grammatically feminine. So that means, from what you learned, you should know that to say the house, you would say la maison. So the F means it takes la as its definite article. So la maison. If you want to hear it pronounced, maison, maison, maison. Just click on the icon and you can hear it pronounced and you can repeat as many times as you want. The more the better. Uh, just as a general rule of thumb, you, you should listen to a word and repeat it maybe five or ten times. But if you have the time and you can do it more than that, that's great and that will help you to improve your pronunciation. Another thing that you can do is, if you click on the word itself, maison, it will take you to the French to English side of the dictionary. But the good thing about this is if you know the International Phonetic Alphabet, uh, you see the transcription of that word here in the IPA, so maison maison and that might help you also with pronunciation if you're familiar with that notice it also tells you non femina it's a feminine noun and you can also see some other phrases in french that have the word maison in it so for example uh, maison de campagne is a home or house in the country and you can also hear that maison de campagne Maison bourgeoise. And you can look up other words in French that contain the word maison, so it's very useful. Okay, and you can just keep looking up words. For example, we learned cat, remember? Um, if you type, if you remember that it's chat, you can look that up. And you'll get the same thing. So you see sha, sha, and there's the uh, feminine version. The masculine is le chat for a male cat and la chatte for a female cat. Notice the pronunciation is there. Sha, sha, and chat. 
shut. Well, enjoy your new knowledge of French nouns, and above all, practice, practice, practice. See you in the next video.